A big story at this hour. It's time for the big Mizoram verdict. The battle for Mizoram nears completion and it is now time for the ultimate truth. Mizoram's fate is going to be announced today. India Today Access My India Exit Polls predicted a clean sweep by Lal Dhoma led Zoram People's Movement, ZPM. Meanwhile, Zoram Sangha hopes to defy the exit polls. Mizoram's probable chief minister, Lal Dhoma, is the next cop. Indira Gandhi security in charge and was the first MP to be disqualified under the anti-defection law. However, both the regional parties have major influence over Mizoram politics. The Zoram Sangha, will Zoram Sangha retain his throne or will Lal Duhoma's clean sweep dethrone MNF today? That's the big question. Just ahead of counting, mm. what are the thoughts going on in your mind? Well, <clears throat> there's a lot of speculation even on my side, whether we can come out successful or other ways. But to the best of my judgment, I believe that we shall be able to pass through the magic uh, number of 21. So out of the 40, the magic number has to be 21. So I believe that we shall be able to form the government between uh, uh, 21 to 23, 24, up to 25. That was what I was uh, having in my mind. Uh, so, uh, ahead of countings, what you are thinking? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank India today for the exit poll. And I understand that the exit poll of India today is the most reliable in the country using scientific methods. And it is you who predicted, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But what are your pre uh, uh, prediction and what uh, you are expecting? I agree generally uh, with the predictions made by you. Mm. You expectations of uh, any number of seats which you can uh, win uh, because you have also do, uh, you are also doing survey. You have roamed around the whole yeah. uh, state. Yeah. So, what is the number which you have predicted or assumed uh, that uh, you can get? No, you see, I would like to refrain myself from hmm. making numbers because I am not a prophet. <laughs> but uh, we are hopeful of getting absolute majority. Okay. Hmm. So you are very hopeful that you will surpass the majority mark of 21? Yeah. Yeah. Anupam Mishra is joining us live this morning. Anupam is with us. He's joining us from Aizol for the very latest on that, the exit poll. In fact, Anupam clearly indicates that the new challenger, Zoram People's Movement or ZPM, essentially is going to make big inroads this time around and is going to upseat the current government there. Exactly, Sneha, uh, ZPM, this is the new party and uh, they have formed only in 2019 and they are making inroads impact on uh, Mizoram. And let me uh, show you the uh, uh, counting centre. This is the counting centre in Aizol. One of the counting centres, three out of three, and uh, there are three t uh, tier uh, security arrangements. Uh, the initial, the uh, inside of the booth will be manned by CAPF and outer two layers will be manned by uh, Mizoram police. So these are the security arrangements at present at the counting center at DC office in Imphal and uh, everyone is keeping uh, <laughs> their fingers crossed because both parties have uh, expressed uh, confidence that they will uh, so they will be able to surpass the magic mark of 21 out of 40 seats so let's see I think we will be getting uh, trends around 9 or 9 30 uh, so uh, and uh, uh, around 11 uh, by 11 I think we can be uh, b b the trends will be solid so uh, we will have to wait for some time. Uh, uh, around 8 a.m. the uh, counting will start and uh, 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 the initial half an hour will be uh, uh, postal ballots and after that the uh, actual po uh, polling will start. From what I want to talk about right here is the manner in which the BJP is not fielded, had not fielded in all of the seats, its own candidates in all of the seats essentially. Again, Christian majority Mizoram. Is, uh, is one area where the Saffron Party is yet to make inroads, isn't it? In, in, a, in a way very similar to the many other parts of northeastern India, for example, Meghalaya, for example.
Yes, initially uh, mm. what we have seen in Mizoram that uh, the uh, initially Congress was here, mm. uh, but uh, after Congress, it's uh, uh, NPF uh, is there. So uh, uh, and now this new party ZPM, and mm. there uh, uh, there is Zoram People's Movement. They have started a movement called Zoram People's Movement uh, with with the alliance of six parties, and then uh, they formed a party. And this party uh, uh, is very confident. They are get, gaining popularity, and uh, they have fielded young candidates in the uh, in the election and uh, uh, if, if we talk about BJP uh, we haven't seen PM Modi uh, who came here and uh, have campaigned here and uh, this this is uh, because this this uh, state is mainly 93% uh, population is the Christian population and only 4% population is Hindu population so uh, that that is very uh, very effective uh, uh, very effective to uh, start the role of uh, 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 regional parties like MNF and uh, ZPM and they both are uh, uh, we have seen that the main issue was uh, the refugees from the neighboring state Manipur and uh, uh, the uh, chief minister Zoram Thanga openly saying that we are uh, uh, we are supporting this uh, cookie communities so uh, th this is this this state is main, very connected to each other uh, uh, and we have seen that uh, on Sunday uh, initially the counting was uh, scheduled on uh, 3rd of uh, December with uh, other states but it had had to be postponed because of the Sunday everyone goes to Sunday to church service so uh, it is very religiously connected community and uh, BJP is yet to make inroads in this state well absolutely